Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamila and I love all things beauty. I love all things makeup, I love all things skincare, and I especially love sharing my tips and tricks for how to find high-end and luxury beauty products at bargain prices. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing and joining the fam. Hey. Okay, so talking about best prices for high-end and luxury products, I have an interesting haul for you guys. So turns out, if my, well, I should have probably talked about this in my purchase or pass video, but basically Lady Gaga's brand is getting a revamp, rejuge, relaunch. I don't even know what to call it, but their Instagram page is wiped. Their website is down. So I don't know what's going on. Now with that change, what has happened is that all the products from House Labs are currently available at 50% off on the Amazon website. So I love me a good sale. I love me a good deal. I've been somewhat interested in checking out the House Labs brand, but never really got or felt the need to be to actually buy anything. Like I never got pushed over the edge and bought anything from House Labs because to be quite honest, it's a little bit expensive for what it is in my opinion, but at 50% off, I decided to make the exception. So I bought a lot, like everything almost kinda. I spent a ridiculous amount of money on the House Labs website picking up products because I thought if the time is ever around, like if, if there was a time, this is the time to buy it. So for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys all the products that I hauled. I'm gonna do a couple of swatches, not gonna do a try on because obviously I already have something on my face, but I'll just do some swatches for you guys in case it is helpful to see the products swatched in my skin tone if you were planning to shop the sale. Here's what I think though. I think that because this brand is going through this whatever revamp that's happening right now, that there is potentially potentially the option for these products to get even cheaper. I know that oftentimes when brands are going through a shift, they have like massive clearance sales. Like we saw it with Kylie Cosmetics, we saw it with Kim. So we've seen this happen to other brands before. I think this is kind of like the first step where it's like 50% off then you'll see like 60, then 70. But that is an assumption. If you are really, really interested in any of these products and you don't want to risk that happening, or risk things selling out, now might be a chance to buy it. But if you honestly don't care enough, I think that these products could potentially get cheaper. Anyway, that intro was way too long. So let's just dive into the products. So I have a giant Amazon bag. Truth be told, when I ordered all of these products, they came in like six or seven separate Amazon bags. I don't know why the packaging was so inefficient because all of these products were purchased at the exact same time. But that's neither here nor there. Let's dive into what I picked up. Okay, so first up, I picked up the House Labs Brow Pencil in the shade Brown Black. Now on the site, I do think that they have a number of shades, which I think is great. So depending on, you know, the color of your hair, I think that there's definitely an option for everyone. I will insert the prices that I paid for each of these products so you can get a sense of what they cost right now and then just multiply it by two if you wanna know the original price. But I think that this was around $10 which is on par with say like a NYX brow pencil. So this is what the packaging looks like. I picked it up in the shade black brown. You get a spoolie on one end and then you get the brow pencil on the other end. This looks like a standard brow pencil. It is that fine tip. So not the triangular tip that we've seen from some others. nice it's a really nice brown like a very very deep brown sometimes it says black brown and i feel like it tends to lean more black than brown but this is a really really nice brown with a little bit of black in my opinion and it definitely felt creamy it didn't feel like hot or anything so i think that this will be a good brow pencil to have when it comes to brow pencils i am fine with the ulta slim brow which i could usually pick up for like five dollars so this at ten dollars is a little bit more expensive it also does not look like it has a ton of product. It has 0 0.002 ounces of product. It lasts 18 months and where was this made? This was made in Korea. So I don't think that this is anything special. If this was originally 10, if this was originally $20, I think it might've been a little overpriced. Anyways, moving along. Next, I picked up two eyeliners from the Casa Gaga line. This is the, first collection that Lady Gaga released that got me really interested. I actually think that this was a complete departure from her original brand. The packaging felt completely different. Everything just felt a little bit more luxe and a little bit more elevated. Now I wasn't planning to pick up the liner and that's what this is. It is the black eyeliner, but my friend Colin 
from Queer Bones, they mentioned that this liner is supposed to be like the best black liner. I know they also mentioned that Teresa is dead, loves this eyeliner as well. So I was like, okay, let me pick it up. I actually picked up two of the same black eyeliner because you could never go wrong with a black eyeliner. <laughs> so this has a six month shelf life and it was made in Germany. Okay. And I think with the Casa Gaga line, I feel like with that line, things just got a little bit more elevated and a little bit more luxe because they were um, better quality and made in like different places. Anyways, this pen is heavy. It is in like this gold, really, really like beautiful gold packaging. It's super duper heavy. Let's see. Ooh! And I, ooh! Ooh, child! Whoa! Did y'all see that? Damn, I, wow, I, I, I knew, I was expecting it to be good, but, whoa, maybe I need to get more of this. I might be buying more. I know that that one retails for $10, which is not a bad price for a solid black eyeliner, because most people wear black eyeliner every day. I use it pretty much every day, so I might need to get me some more of those. Ooh, that... Okay. And most of the products that I picked up here was actually off of the recommendation of Queer Bones. You know, Lady Gaga's brand House Labs is one that they have always really raved about when nobody else was raving about it. Um, so I really, really trust their opinion on the quality of these products. So next, I actually picked up one of the lip oils. I've been really into lip oils lately. I have one from NARS and I really like it. I think it's great to just, you know, add a little bit of hydration. It's good to have on while you're doing like the rest of your face. So by the time you're ready to do your lips, your lips are nice and hydrated. So I thought, let me try House Labs. So I picked this up in the shade Secondary. It is a really, really like bright orange. It's like an almost like an orange red color. There's no smell to it. And let's see. There's no real tint to it. And I didn't expect it to have a tint, to be quite honest. The doe foot applicator is quite like chunky, which I like. I think that that's perfect. So yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this because I love lip oils. Do I think I could probably get a cheaper lip oil that would work well? Yeah. Because I can't remember how much that one cost, but I'm pretty sure I can get it for cheaper. Now, going back to the liners for a bit, I actually also picked up the same eyeliner in the shade brown. Because I wanted to have a brown eyeliner. This is what it looks like. This packaging is also still really heavy, really luxe. This is also made in Germany. So let me show you guys these two next to each other. This is, um, the gold one is limited edition packaging, but it's still quite similar to the original. So, let's see what the black swatches, or the brown swatches like. Okay. I will say, the pigment is definitely there with these. And I, I want more. <laughs> I need more. All right, let's keep going. Then I picked up one of two bundles. So the bundle, the lip bundle deals come in this plastic packaging, nothing special. It just has the House Labs logo on there. And what I picked up was their lip liner and lip gloss combo. So the lip liner I picked up in the shade Myth. Well, I shouldn't say picked up because that's what came in the combo, but it's the shade Myth. This is what that looks like. This might be a little light for my preference if I'm being honest. Okay, it's a nice mauve everyday kind of color. And then the lipstick is in the shade Attitude. So the lipstick, sorry, the lip gloss is actually made in the USA and it has a 12 month shelf life. The lip liner has an 18 month shelf life and is made in, made in Korea, so. So this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. This is definitely a unique shape for me. I don't think I've ever seen this before. No real scent. And here we have the shade Attitude. It definitely aligns with the lip liner and it does have some shimmer in there. It feels sticky, I'm not gonna lie. It feels 
pretty sticky. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this formula. I'm not a huge fan of a super goopy, sticky lip gloss. And then I picked up one other kit, and this comes with three lip glosses. And this actually was $14, if I'm not mistaken, which isn't bad. $14 for three lip glosses, I think is a pretty solid price. So first up, we have the shade Blaze. So this is Blaze. I think this one is definitely more of a matte. This is so sticky. There's not a ton of pigment with these, it looks like. Next we have Corset. Like, do you see it drooping? Like, so thick. So this is Corset. It's more of a peachy nude color. And lastly, we have Scream. And this is the deepest shade. And this one definitely has the most pigment out of the bunch. Yeah, still no fragrance with any of these. Okay, not bad. So one of the things Colin and I was talking about was the bronzer duo from House Labs. And they mentioned that they actually hit pan on one of the bronzers. So I knew that I had to pick it up. Y'all know I have a soft, soft spot for bronzers, so I had to. So I actually picked up the bronzer in two shades, Hot Earth and um, they're duos. So the first one is Hot Earth and Erupt. So I believe Hot Earth is a bronzer, Erupt is the highlighter in there. And I, then I picked it up in Volcanic and Lava. So Volcanic is the bronzer shade and Lava is the highlighter shade, I think. So the bronzers actually have a 12 month shelf life and they are made in France. So this is the first one. This is Hot Earth and Erupt. This is what the packaging looks like. Like this is honestly quite basic in terms of packaging if I'm being very, very honest. It has this little sleeve. And then this is the bronzer here. Like this is stunning. It's so freaking pretty. Y'all know I love me a good bronzer. So let's do. Okay. So here we have the bronzer and then the highlighter. Ooh, okay. So it's definitely giving me a nice sort of neutral bronze, nothing too red. And this highlighter is like a pretty just standard gold highlighter. This is actually really stunning. I think that this is perfect for me sort of right now, like a good everyday bronze without it being too much. Once I get a little bit dark in the summertime though, I am not sure if this would work. And this highlighter is really nice. Like it definitely isn't super high shine. So I think it'd be good for not emphasizing texture. But it's pretty, okay. And then the deeper one is Volcanic and Lava. So let's do a quick swatch. These two bronzer shades don't look that far off, to be honest. I will say that this one definitely has a little bit more red to it, and I feel like they will build really nicely. I think the biggest difference is in the highlighters. This is definitely a more orange peachy shade, and this is more like a true yellow gold. For reference, here are the two bronzer duos. They definitely don't look that far off on camera, but the top one is the deeper one, the bottom one is the lighter one. Yeah, both of these would definitely work for me. And then from that same line, I kind of went crazy and bought a bunch of the blushes. The blushes have a 12 month shelf life and they are also made in France. So let's just run through them. And the blushes also come with a highlighter. I feel like that is a lot of highlighters. It's a little redundant. It would have been nice if they did like a cream and then a powder blush, but a blush and a highlighter and a bronzer and a highlighter. That's a lot of highlighters. Whoa. No, no, I'm thinking about it. I just bought five highlighters. Damn, that is team too much. 
Hmm. Okay, so first up we have Untamed and Intoxicate. This is definitely a more pinky duo. Oh, I need to swatch that blush again. These powders, the blush powders feel creamy yet powdery. Or powdery yet creamy. Yes, powdery yet creamy. Like you can tell it's a powder, but it still has a very creamy feel to it. The highlighters, however, definitely feel straight powdery. Okay. Huh, interesting. So here we have the two blush shades. I will say that I feel like the highlighter doesn't have a ton of punch to it that you can use the highlighter almost as a blush topper to make a blush a shimmery blush. But this is a pretty shade. This would be like a really nice everyday light pink shade. That's really pretty. Yeah, there's definitely less shimmer and sparkle in the highlighter in this blush duo compared to the highlighters in the bronzer duo. And just in terms of packaging, you can see that the bronzer has like a brownish and then this is like a purple packaging. So the next blush and highlighter duo is Pleaser and Tease. Please and tease. This is more peachy, whereas the other one was more pink. This blush feels so good. I know these swatches don't look very pigmented. But they are really pretty. I feel like I'm not doing this justice and I apologize. Okay, so here we have these two. This is definitely more peachy. This is definitely more pinky. Do you need both? To be honest, no. But I think that I like this shade a little bit more than the pink one for like a good everyday peachy blush. I love that. Yeah. And I'm gonna call it, I feel like the highlighters in this blush duo are more like blush toppers than actual highlighters. Which makes me feel better. I was really beginning to feel some kind of way that I bought five highlighters. And then the last blush duo is Rock and Rose and All Night. And this one is almost like a pink purple blush. Here we have those two. Yep, you can definitely see this has a little bit of purple to it. It's a pink blush, but it has a little bit of purple to it. That highlighter is gonna be so ashy on me. Ooh, that's not gonna work. If Like this, I could never use this as a highlighter, like ever. Okay, so here are the blushes and the, the blush and bronzer duos swatched on my hand. And for reference, these are the three blush highlight shades here. So you can definitely see this one is a very light pink, almost like a really nice flush. Then we have the peachy shade on top, which I think is gonna be my favorite. And then the purple pink shade at the bottom. So they're very different. And I, I kind of appreciate that they don't swatch super pigmented because it makes me feel like these are gonna be things that you have to build. And when it comes to makeup, I prefer to build rather than to start with too much color, too much impact, and then have to diffuse out because it can go really left really quickly. So I'm not mad at that. And then I just have two last products and these were, were products that actually really caught my eye when they released, but I was like, not about buying it. And it is from the Casa Gaga line. So I picked up the Tutti Gel Powder, Gel Powder Highlighter. Uh, this is made in Italy. And you can see here, this is when the packaging really changes. So you get the white packaging with the gold trim. It definitely isn't super weighty, but it felt a lot more luxe. You see it has the Casa Gaga um, embossed in here. Nothing else has any embossing in there. So it felt like it was like just elevated. So let's swatch this baby. I'm actually kind of sad to touch this. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's swatch it here at the top. Ooh, that is stunning. 
So you can see this highlighter is so much more metallic than all of the highlighter shades. Like this looks wet compared to all of the other highlighters. Oh, I swoon, I die. This is gorgeous. That is really pretty. And then the last product from the same Casagaga line is one of the blushes. So just for reference, let me show you guys the difference in size. This is the highlighter, this is the blush. It's definitely smaller. And same white packaging, and then when you open it up, it's, it's still that same kind of luxe feeling. You get the Casagaga embossed in there. This is the shade Amarone. Uh, there are multiple shades of the blush, so if you don't like this one, there are other options. Oh, this feels powdery. Okay. Here's that on the finger. I'm just going to go on top here. Okay. I'm going to do a second layer to build that up. Okay. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I saw a couple other people swatch this in reviews and it definitely didn't look like it was going to be this pigmented. So I'm impressed. Now I wish I would have gone with the lighter shade. I actually went with the darker one because it looked like it wasn't going to be super pigmented, but we'll see. Because I, the way I've seen people apply it with a brush, it doesn't seem to pick up very heavily with a brush. So it could be just because I swatched with my fingers that that's where I'm getting all this pigment from. But this freaking highlight, jeez louise, that's stunning. That is so beautiful. All right, so those are all the products that I picked up in this House Labs sale. Like I said, everything is 50% off. So if you were thinking about picking up any of the products, now is a good time to buy um, because it is a pretty, pretty amazing sale. Um, I hope that these swatches were helpful if you were interested in grabbing anything. I will do a follow-up video testing out these products just to let you know like how it applies because swatches never ever give you the full picture. Anyways, if you like this video, I'd absolutely love if you would hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and come on back for some more videos. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you plan on shopping the sale. And if you are planning to shop the sale, um, let me know what you plan on picking up. Is there something that caught your eye? Is there something that you were really, really interested in grabbing? I want to know. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!